time to get jolly on your naughty asses. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, I was testing new units like Bryce area, but everyone and their mom is currently cleaving on the ladder, so... You know, someone in my last video's comments was like, when are you gonna make a guide on how to bully aggro players? And like, today's that video, I guess. We're just going to give any cringe cleavers we see coal because they're being naughty and making sure everyone has the least amount of fun possible on the ladder. And how I normally achieve this is that I pick SC Arwell and Destina a along with a bunch of other anti-cleave options. My opponent, like, judging from his bans, like, IE Winter is kind of an odd cleave ban, like, aggro ban, but, like, whatever. I'm not gonna think too deep about it, but they do, like, double down onto being really aggressive with Conqueror Lilius, Politis, and stuff. And this is where you would normally pick stuff like Edward, but uh, I unfortunately do not have Edward built. So, that's kind of sad. I was contemplating on picking Flitica here because he didn't have good reach at the time, but now he does. This is also a Rem angle, but my Rem is currently on Wyvern gear, so she is unsuitable for the job. I picked Designer a little bit because they have a bunch of debuffs out the ass, and um, I'm thinking maybe I should pick like Arya or... Shoe, but then I just go with Sylvan Sage Vivian because his team doesn't really have great ways of dealing with Sylvan Sage Vivian either. But Sylvan Sage Vivian can definitely melt them back, so there's always that angle. And by the looks of it, I'm either going to ban Conqueror Lilius, Cowric, or this last pick. I'm not too threatened. Nobody else is crazy except for me to run the resource reduction EE on the hawk so i just safely ban out cowric and my opponent's going to ban out destina or dilibet and yeah they do but this match in my mind is already won like you guys have experienced escort is a broken damage mitigator especially if you pair with adamant which mine does so i can already see it happening my opponent is going to ram everything they have into designer a little bit but due to escort and the defense buff she's about to get, she's not going to be bothered at all. And I'm just going to cleanse up with Designer a little bit and one-shot the rest of his team. Well, either she's going to do it or Sylvan Sage Vivian is going to do it. Like, Vigor makes his units kind of tanky to Designer a little bit, so I can see her not one-shotting their team, but it might happen. And since my Designer a little bit is on... What's that thing called? Durandal or whatever? She'll eventually get pushed up, especially if she keeps getting focused like this. So now I just get to sit back, and drink some water, and laugh <laughs> as my opponent tries their best to kill Designer a little bit, but fail because they, didn't know how, they don't have enough damage. It just feels good to be better. <laughs> and not a cleaver, you know? So yeah... They get real desperate, and they they literally use everything except for, what's that thing called? Zeo's S3 on Designer a little bit. And yeah, Designer a little bit, <laughs> despite everything, survives. I think my opponent saved their Politis S3 until the end, just to try and give my Designer a little bit blind debuff. But I don't think it would have mattered, because even if she missed everyone here, she just cleanses everyone else, and that's the important part. Because now that my opponent's done, oh my god, what is that? I'm gonna show them why they're done and one shot the rest of his team or like everyone but Conqueror Elias. So Sylvan Sage Vivian gets to go and just melts his DPS units. I guess Zeo lives, but my opponent gives up because he knows that like Stenny is about to one shot the rest of his team. Going on to the next naughty person this Christmas who deserves coal. We're going to pick SC Arwell here because they banned really oddly. So they banned Stenny and Bryceria. So in my mind, they're going to pick like really annoying evasion units or they're going to pick units that don't like having safe DPSs. So I'm thinking like Roy or something here. So I pick Hangai and Flitica because Flitica is just there to speed contest. And even though like she's not like, she's only like, 280-ish, but she contests mid-speed, which is the most important part, because they're generally more 
dangerous, in my opinion, because like you can always like kind of random something else. But anyway, so yeah, as expected, my opponent goes into Laika Roy, which you know it was pretty obvious, especially with the Aras pick earlier. So I saw this from coming from a mile away. I'm not too bothered. His team honestly does not have that much damage aside from Roy. Like I guess like again, like Roy does a billion damage, so that's not too surprising here, but I am thinking of picking Arya because she is a tanky DPS unit and she has elemental advantage, so she has proof. And I'm looking for another durable DPS, so I decide to go and stick with um Sylvan Sage Rivian here because even though Roy can soul burn and burn through a lot of those stacks, I'm just not too threatened by it because Roy doesn't... I don't think Roy can break through Sylvan Sage Rivian, especially with Escort. But anyway, my opponent picks a hawk and I'm like not threatened by the hawk in <laughs> any shape or form. So I just let the hawk go through and ban Roy. And even if um, my Arya ends up dying here, I honestly don't think it matters too much because Sylvan Sage Vivian should be able to clutch this game out because most of Hawks, again, are not on the resource reduction and we just saw this Hawk attack buff. And look at that. <laughs> Arya survives another situation just because she is fair and balanced. Or SCR, well, not Arya. But I just soul burn Cowrex S3 here. Um, I honestly gave up Arya for being dead. Like, didn't really care. Uh, I was just thinking that my Arrowell is going to stun the Hawk and Sylvan Sage Rivian is about to blow him to pieces. So we're going to step one on that plan where we try and strip and stun the Hawk, but he resists. Or he's on an ER build. Like, take your pick. We all know what the answer is. But <laughs> Arya actually ends up surviving because she's tanky and behind escort like SCROL is so good against stopping aggro drafts unless you build in a very specific way which is why you see me pick SCROL even if my draft's looking aggressive because I don't want my opponent to have it because it's very annoying to deal with that escort like people forget how busted escort was because we didn't see Para in the meta for a while but it is very very broken and very very strong but yeah, we're going for round two on strips onto the Hawk. But apparently this is an ER build because my hand guy and SCR will have like 100 effectiveness. So I don't know what the build is, but can't complain. It might look like an Arya solo at this point because my opponent doesn't really have good ways of killing her either. <laughs> like the Hawk can try, but she'll probably sustain off these counters on the other three support units. And then Sylvan Sage Vivian's still there, standing menacingly. And even though my opponent picked really aggressively, he's pretty much done at this point. Let's go for a strip <laughs> onto the Hawk again, and we get it this time! So, yay us, right? But it doesn't matter. We're just waiting out Sylvan Sage's turn so she can just delete <laughs> the rest of his team. I stole burn to flush. R.I.P. Aras, he took so much damage from Aureus. But yeah, now you get to just hand out more coal as Arya counters more and more and his team gets lower and lower. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter though. It's it's whatever. My opponent could attack into Meteor Kaurik, but he also has to find a way to get rid of Arya at the same time, so I can see why he's poking Arya. But my opponent realizes he actually can't break through my Arya and quits, so another cringe cleaver slash aggro player brought to justice, and on to the next. My opponent bans really aggressively, like I know he's playing aggro because he bans Zeo, so... I pick a Mitigator, the best Mitigator, and I pick Bunny Dom. I re-geared my Bunny Dom, but I'm not like too in love with her build, to be honest. But you know, I'm just trying it out. Um, I think in hindsight, 
this djb like picking djb because i did build my djb recently would have been better but you know hindsight 2020 my opponent picked savior aiden so i pick briar which i seria here just because briar witch is really good into these whatchamacallit she's good in a few situations she can either go before a bunch of these buffers or she can go after and my thought process here was that she would go after the attack buffers and it would have been fine and i think i missed ban here because i'm pretty confident my briar witch and steny will be able to survive with scr well so i should have banned djb because there would be no push that way but hopefully it's still fine um i'm about to take a billion damage from barrier inversion so that's another reason i should have banned djb but you know it's okay you make mistakes you live and you learn this is probably one of the reasons why we don't see <laughs> bunny dom anymore especially since my bunny dom isn't super fast she's like 270 so this is a pretty fast djb but yeah as i said a billion damage taken from barrier inversion and it's looking a little rough but if I manage to survive Cope, no, I'm, I'm fucking done. It's okay. I think I honestly would have had a better chance if I just banned DJB. Because either way, I would have either silenced with AOL or cleansed and pushed up with Bunny Dom. So what can you do? But, you know, it's still doable. Because Briar Witch Isaria still can deal with the team pretty decently. But these attack downs from Conqueror Elias really, really hurt. And the Vigor also does not help. But we do not resist any of the strips or defense breaks. So that's pretty nice. Well, except on DJB, but he's on Bastion of Hope. So there's like no way in hell I was going to debuff him anyway. I just go for an S1, fishing for the crit onto... Aiden, we don't get it, so okay, fine. We go for the reliable play onto Landy with defense break and two debuffs. I was pretty confident that we could have killed. And I S3 with Arrowwell here because I thought that it would kill with defense down, and it does. But a big issue is that this DJB is a lot faster than my Steny, so he might end up lapping me and killing my Steny because I can't get this barrier to fall off. So that was kind of a giant mistake in hindsight. And yeah, unless I can kill this DJB this turn, I'm pretty much doomed. But, you know, my Briar Witch Isaria is on Torrent set. Uh, my Steny has three stacks. You know, you never know. He doesn't have Vigor anymore. He doesn't have the defense reduction either. But again, yikes, that... Defense down is really hurting my Briar Witch's damage output. And the constant dual attacks from Conqueror Lilius healing him up allow him to barely survive. So that's tragic. And it turns out that my opponent gives me coal instead of me giving it to him. Yeah, my Steny dies. And if my Steny didn't have the shield there, we might have been fine. But... It's okay. Hindsight is twenty twenty. In the next match, we find a aggressive player. You can tell because he banned SCR well, escort, busted, buff, you know, yada yada. Same feel. But yeah. My opponent oddly picks APOC as a cleave anchor, I guess. Which I find pretty strange considering I could pick Light Aiden. But... In the back of my mind, I was like considering like maybe this is a bait to try and get me to pick Light Aiden so he can pick like Bryce Area and stuff. So keeping that in mind, I decide not to pick Light Aiden. And instead I opt for Yolha for some mitigation, I think. Oh no, I pick... Destina, because Destina has big tempo swings with her S3, and I pick Aras for a more aggressive option, but I think that's a mistake. I think I should have picked Destina and Faithless Lyrica in the last slot, because Faithless Lyrica would have protected me from 
the last two units. But it's okay. Uh, I was thinking of banning this APOC, but I think I have to ban this hand guy instead because I can theoretically CC him or like have death breaks with Aras, which I can't if hand guy's around. And I can, worst case, just silence this Ira because thinking about the speed tuning, there's no way this Ira should be slower than my Destina. Yeah. So Zeo grabs first turn, like everyone expected this. So instead of silence and conquer Lilius, I instead opt to silence and push back Ida because since Ida naturally outseeds my team, pushing her, pushing conquer Lilius back doesn't do anything if Ida gets to S2, S3 for free anyway. So I allow conquer Lilius to set up her annoying bullshit. And we just wait. It's kind of sussy though, because I don't have a good strip for this Briar Witch Iceria either. And if I do S3 with Destina here, I might get hit with unbuffable and defense break later, which is even more painful. So I S2 Ross here, but that's kind of a mistake because it didn't take off the redirect a provoke but i guess it allows him to not get killed by the defense break so i have no regrets i just s3 the ida here so there's no more reach for steny outside of briar which i say s3 so she's pretty much safe to just do her thing briar which is about to go here and it's about to be very painful especially if he soul burns i just hope that defense break doesn't land on any of my core units so as long as Justina doesn't get defense broken it should be like fine uh Briar Witch Iceri also works against my opponent a little bit because even if APOC S3s he's not gonna get Ida back so I just have to kill this APOC before this Briar Witch dies but during the match I was kind of tunneling into Briar Witch Iceria because I was thinking about like what if my Destina S3s and that can bring the tempo back but like during editing like I realized I should have just not bothered and just killed APOC but yeah my Aras is on an effectiveness build to play aggressively into standard players who don't expect it so we soul burn again into Briar Witch Iceria which is a mistake if I got a defense break onto this APOC here, the game would have been pretty much done though. Because he would have been chunked and then I could just continue soul burning into him with Steny. But it's okay. It's okay. We should still be fine. Vigor wears off this turn for APOC. So hopefully my Steny souls can break through this APOC even though he is on proof. So it might be a little tough. I test a soul burn into APOC, but I'm kind of not liking the damage. <laughs> so I kind of chicken out and try to not hit APOC, but I hit APOC anyway. But it should be fine. Uh, we still have at minimum one turn before, one more steady turn before APOC can potentially revive something with S3. So we're just waiting on that. My opponent oddly runs into Destina here, but I think my opponent was trying to save for a S3 target on APOC, but we know my A Roz is probably not going to survive too much longer, so I just raw dog the S2, and with a defense break, APOC dies, and we punish another player for playing aggressively. Hooray, right? With Christmas magic on our side. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, for the last match, we're up against Horong? Hirong? I think I would pronounce it better if it was Romanized, but whatever. I, I faced them before, and they are a cleaver, so I don't know why I picked Steny here. I feel like with the new balance changes, Steny first pick got a lot weaker, so that, that's something to keep in mind. But it's fine. We still have our old reliable <laughs> in... Scarewell, and I pick Faithless Lydica 
just in case my opponent doesn't full-on commit to cleave with SCR well. But that turns out to be a mistake because my opponent doubles and triples down into cleave. So this is still really sussy. So now I have to find like durable DPSs and hope they survive. So I'm currently thinking BBK is pretty decent. Destina's always good just for her S3 revive. I could pick Briar Witch maybe, but she's not too great into all the debuffs here. So I do end up picking my BBK. She's no longer on that terrible triple set build. She's just really high damage immunity BBK. And although there are several strips on my opponent's team, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, because he doesn't have too much AoE damage. Or he has to choose between AoE damage and something else. My opponent does end up banning Faithless Lytica, just in case my Faithless Lytica is like 300 speed and speed contesting, just be because Zeo can't actually control Lytica. So it all works out. Faithless Lytica, 300 IQ ban. As expected, Zeo grabs first turn. He's either going to go into Airwell to strip escort or try to destina to do damage or bbk to er check but luckily escort stays intact so i'm feeling good about this match you can run tml into like destina or scarewell but again we're sitting pretty ser well is just too good at stopping aggression just because she provides escort she has a barrier at the start of the battle she stuns and strips and provides a barrier. So that if you're having trouble with aggression, I would urge you to invest into either Destina or Ruel on a high ER build and Scarewell, as well as some like few key DPS units like Sylvan Sage Vivian's pretty good. Um, what's that unit called? ML Celine's pretty good. Yeah, SCR will dies here, but it's pretty pretty okay at this point. I think that I'll be able to survive the onslaught of the damage, especially since BBK won't die here, even though she might get pushed back. With the S2 bonus stats it gives, she should be able to just cut and delete the rest of his team. So... My opponent S2 Destina here, and I think that is the right play because if she just ah! reset the BBK and stripped her, my Destina could just bring back Steny, and then he would have a lot of DPSs to suddenly deal with. Oh yeah, I decide that TML is the higher damage threat and kill her, but I don't think it mattered too much. My BBK does have some bulk, so she should be able to survive this, and she does. And we're able to... Give out the last piece of coal to the cringe cleaver. Oh, it's not the last one. We have another game after this. Whoops. <coughs> Sorry. I lost track of time playing RTA yesterday. Like, I played like 20 games and about like three quarters of those were against cleaver. And I was like, oh, God, dude. My opponent this game picks stage, ban stage ball and belly in. So again, I can tell he wants to play aggressively. So that's why I ended up picking... Zeo, just to speed contest. And my opponent does pick Wander Silk here for a speed imprint, which is kind of like not great. So I need a way to deal with this Faithless Lyrica because right now we don't have too many great options. Uh, we're pretty much covered on the Aiden front. I should have picked Yolha as a Mitigator plus Aiden deal with her eventually, but you know, what can you do? My opponent also does not have great options into Spec Tenny because he has so much single target. So I pick Steny here because theoretically, like, she can also deal with Aiden if my other DPS units don't survive. And excuse me, she does provide like a safe DPS option. So I either ban Wander Silk here for speed contest or I ban Ran. Like this Ran is going first 100%, but he might kill my Steny. 
So that's what I was worried about. But I'm pretty confident that my Conqueror Lilius can outspeed most Faithless Ludicas. So yeah, we just have to hope that this Ran isn't built on Omega damage and is cash. Or else we lose. But we'll see. This immunity buff on Edward is pretty useful too because it means that my Steny will be able to S1 him with impunity if I can get to that. But yeah, uh, Steny luckily does not get critted, but judging by the damage on Bryceria, uh, it wouldn't have killed her anyway because my Steny is much tankier and has higher defense. And my Bryceria is on Torrent Set, so yeah. Um, I'm thinking of switching her off Torrent Set, but I'm because I'm finding that she kind of needs immunity if she's not on Guiding Light. And being at such low HP allows things like Ran to strip her immunity retroactively. I'm guessing my opponent's going to choose to kill this Zahak because Bryce Area is one hit from death. And they do, so yikes. But Bryce Area still gets to go. She should be able to kill this Aiden because we have Vigor. And yeah, we do. Damn. Pretty good. I opt to stun the Ran here, just because we don't want him to RNL too much and kill my Conqueror Lilius, which will leave my Steny naked, so. I also realized that since Aiden gave Edward immortality, no, invulnerability, I actually can't damage Edward, and so we kind of have to hope that we don't poison Edward here, which is not bad chances. So it's like 85% of 50%, which is not the most. It's like 40 something percent. I don't know, guys. I didn't go to school for math. But yeah, we get the first check. We get the second check. And Edward dies. So, phew. Phew. Pretty lucky. But yeah. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed me dunking on <laughs> some of these cleave players and if you like my content please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and hope you have a happy holidays with your family